Free Para, I think is the name of this product. It is to keep your herbs. How cool is this? Can we make a garden out of it? It says it's for cilantro. I bet we can do a million things with this. You water it through here, put this out. It's enclosed in its own little greenhouse. I bet you can grow herbs in here. Like this is multi-purpose, multi-use. Can you put your rosemary in here? Any herbs. But I'm saying, could we not grow things in here? Let's rebrand this, okay? For under $8, I thought it was a great idea because I'm gonna use it for all kinds of stuff. Growing stuff, making sure my rosemary's fresh, making sure my basil is fresh, making sure my cilantro is fresh. And it says it's great for asparagus too. Keeps herbs fresher, three times longer, triples their life. The newer one is 20% larger. I had not seen these before at Walmart, but how genius is this look at the inside of it a little bit of dirt and then you just water it okay now you have a life hack could you imagine a whole bunch of these in your kitchen and you're growing all kinds of stuff yes you need a light put them facing your window and then you can water them as often as you need to in the store i think they also put asparagus on like wet paper towels or something i don't know let's try it with asparagus i did not know that you should put asparagus in a little bit of water so they last longer the quality is okay i mean it's very thin plastic but it's fine it's gonna work okay not a lot fits in there that's the problem even though they said 20 percent bigger i can't imagine what the 1.0 version of this how big that was but this is kind of small oh if y'all would make this three times the size i mean wait a second it's filling up quite a bit is fitting in there let me shut my mouth. Oh, the refrigerator is gonna look amazing. Look how futuristic that looks. I need the entire refrigerator door to have this. When people come over, they're gonna be like, oh, look at her indoor garden in the fridge. And there we'll put a little bit of water. I don't know how much water, I think that's good. Oh, what a great find. For about $8, it's not too, too bad, but I mean, I guess it'll get pricey if you're doing a whole garden like I plan to do. But either way, if you've seen these on Amazon and they're more, let us know in the comments down below. I guess if you buy just a couple, they're gonna last you forever. Obviously today, I can only tell you my first impressions. Simple product, decent price. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. New Walmart products that you probably haven't seen before. Atomic Beam Glove. Remember the Atomic Beam headlight that I did? For being as seen on television like this one is, that product really blew me away. So when I saw the glove when you're in the garage and you can't hold a flashlight, it's in your hands. You'll find this in the As Seen on Television section, but I don't think they make it anymore. I think they may have discontinued it because it is a pretty old As Seen on Television product. To even open the front door when you're coming home late, put your glove on. You don't have to be trying to open that door in the dark. Great for emergencies. Maybe you're changing a tire. You're gonna need a couple of these for the car. Like I wish it came with two. It only comes with one for the prize. Mm, I didn't even think about the front door. Grandma needs this. First impression, just touching it, it feels very thin. Wait, I was about to unfold it and no, 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 this is it. This is not a glove. This is a piece of cloth with a little light and a strap. Other great ways to use it, tight spots, emergency, flat tires, power outages, camping, fishing, crafting. What if you're a sewer, right? And you have your glove right here and then you're like zzz, zzz. It's a great idea, but I'm not happy with the price for what I'm getting. Like this should have been like $9.99, but I think when it first came out, it was $19.99. For the amount of material that you're giving me and the price, you should have thrown two in. You know what I'm saying? So I could be like, why do I already love it? It feels like Spanx. So it should be on your index and your thumb. I guess it could be on any finger if you really think about it. But if you're gonna be a sewer, I guess it should be like that. I'm gonna use it like that. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I feel extra like cool. If you're riding a motorcycle or a bike at night, taking the dog for a walk. Oh, I have a million ideas for this thing. Now, look at this. You have to like wrap it around your wrist and then attach it like that, which is fine. Very comfortable, very lightweight. Okay, I'm not gonna cry about it. And then your little lights are right here. Let's see, ready? It's okay. I don't think it's made for these two fingers, but you're the owner, you do what you want. You see if you're sewing or maybe you're cutting things, small things. The kids at night, if they're scared of the dark, give them a glove so they can. <laughs> this is super cute. I like it for the kids too. Okay, let's put it on the fingers that they advertise, which is the index and the thumb, which is also very cool. And it might even look better like that. Wrap it around your hand. Okay, I guess the design is not horrible. At first I was like, that's a cheesy ass design. Look at this. I'm the coolest girl in the room. Nobody else is here. I can't hate on it because it's kind of cool. Like I feel like a badass. 
you know? See if I'm opening the door. Oh, it's cool, but isn't that a lot of work to put this thing on as you're trying to get to the door? You're gonna have to put it on before you get out of the car. <laughs> You guys can find it for $9.99. Totally worth it. I can see a million uses for it. And then we're not using it. Turn it off. On. If I'm opening the door, I like it. These light products, they're usually really good. I really haven't found one that I totally hate, but I do love this one and the head one that I got. I would totally use this. I can see all kinds of purposes for it. The way they ruin these is by overpricing them. If they made them way cheaper, they would sell gazillions of them, especially if you had a spokesperson like me. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Five only if they're less than 20 bucks. At 20 bucks, I would only give it four. Maybe Mason jar traveling food warmer. If you're out on the field, if you're a road warrior, are you kidding me? You need this. And for $20, you can have fresh food all the time. Now you need a plug. <laughs> it's not like a thermos. No, portable warming. Simply remove, cover, and eat right out of the jar. Durable external stays cool while in use. Fits wide mouth, pint size mason jars. I mean, you know how some people do like the overnight oats? You can do like overnight dinner, right? Put everything in the mason jar, chili, soup. Then whenever you get to your destination and it is lunchtime, turn it on, heat it up at your desk. Could you do like some ramens at your desk at work? I bet you can. Why not? You don't even gotta leave your desk. You can have a side hustle because you charge people for a hot lunch, <laughs> right? You can say, how many people want a hot lunch today? From the food truck I got at my desk. <laughs> how many people? Six. And you start early and you start heating up food all day. That is a steady income coming in. And it's cute. <laughs> Look how little it is. Is this a handle to carry? Oh, on cuteness alone, you're getting some points. Look, and on the top, it has a little space for, I guess, condiments, crackers. Bug out day. Take your food with you. I better bring the mason jar. Can you just put anything in there? I wonder, can I put the chili directly in here? Why not? A million ideas have just flooded my head. Less stuff to clean. I guess you could use the mason jar for like, you know, the full meal. But if you're in a hurry and you just need a soup, a ravioli, then you can just leave it in the can. I, maybe not. Maybe that's against the rules. Don't follow my lead. I'm not a doctor. Why not? Some people eat stuff out of the can all the time. But if you're not that risky and you don't live on the edge like I do, then here's you a mason jar. You're gonna do like your overnight oats or salads. People do a lot of salads in layers. Put your rice, put your protein, put your beans, close it up, throw it in here, plug it in at your desk. Boom, you have a hot meal. No need for that microwave. <laughs> I guess. It's just convenient, okay? And it's cute as hell because you can walk around the office like this. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's, maybe it's like a nonstick surface. I don't know. Let me look at the warnings. Eating times will vary depending on the foods, initial temperature, amount of food, and type of food. USDA recommends should heat up leftovers to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This may take up to three hours. Abs. <laughs> I said 30 minutes. That's it, three hours. Return this, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. <laughs> Nobody's waiting three hours. You know when we get hangry, we cannot. Who the hell is gonna wait three hours? The outside of it, it's cute, but it's not the greatest plastic. I'm just gonna open it and put my chili in there see if it gets hot. I wonder if it'll take less time if it's in a can. I didn't see any warnings about not putting metal things in here. Use at your own risk, do what you want. Let me see if it's good. <gasps> Oh, that is hot, hot. Doesn't say anything. It gives me a lot of warnings about electrical shock. Now I'm so scared to open it because I put a can in there. Don't put a can, just use the damn jar. First impressions with it though, for the price, no. If this was like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, then I would say, yeah, just in case an emergency, plan ahead at least three hours so that your food can be hot. If you're in a hurry or you have a 30 minute lunch, like. Mm, you know, like you're gonna have to start cooking at nine to go to lunch at 12. That's not worth it when we have a microwave in the office. Unless you're in the middle of nowhere camping and you have plenty of time, then fine. But for everyday use, which I thought it was gonna be everyday use or even in the car, like who's gonna be driving around for three hours? I mean, I'm sure some people do road trips and stuff. I don't know. I don't think it's practical now that I'm using it. It's been in here for about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna unplug it. Oh, why is it hot on the outside? I read somewhere it stays cool. It is not cool to the touch and it's only been on for about 10 minutes. That hot? No. Is my jar hot? It's warm, but it really is gonna take about three hours. Let's pass on this one. It's too much work. 
I thought it was gonna be a little bit nicer, a little bit faster, a little bit everything. If you have one of these or if you've used one before and you absolutely love it, let us know about it in the comments down below because so far it's not a great impression for me. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy two Vivian heads. Personal sized ice cream maker or a miniature ice cream maker. Remember last year when I did all the miniatures, we had the toaster, we had the ramen maker, we had the bunt cake maker, we had the waffle maker, like all the kitchen gadgets now come in miniature. Now I found this guy, which is a miniature ice cream maker. And I thought, uh, yeah, who does not need that? For an emergency, who does not need to make a batch of ice cream? <laughs> it should go quick because it's little and it's fresh and you can put whatever ingredients you want so you can control the stuff that goes in it. It will make one pint of ice cream. Here it is here and I've actually had it in the freezer for a couple of hours already so it is frozen. It's been in the fridge probably three hours now. It is frozen frozen. When I first got it I could hear kind of the water that's in there. That's step one the top which is I guess the turning part of it. Oh my god could you imagine just making ice cream whenever you're craving it? Like I'm craving it every day and I can see inside because it has this little silicone cover. Number one freeze your base. Check. Number two, add your ingredients. Check. I have here pineapple mango juice because I want it to be a sherbet. If you want it to be a creamy ice cream, then you're gonna need milk, heavy whipping cream, and all the stuff. But I wanted to make it simple and just like a pure sherbet. You can add your mix-ins. So if you wanted to do like a vanilla ice cream with like Oreos in it, you can add your mix-ins. And then after that, boom, you enjoy. Easy peasy. Hopefully this takes like three minutes. And then you can make all kinds of flavors every day of the week. You don't have to be like, oh, I bought a whole gallon of ice cream, but I want a different flavor today. Now this was $19.99. You're paying a premium for the cuteness, the miniature size of it, because I think you can get a full size one for that price, right? It is a little bit expensive. This should have been like $9.99. Some of those other miniature products that I tried were only $9.99. Attach this piece at the bottom, got it. It needs to lock into place. Now, if you buy the big one, you need to buy additional things, right? I think you have to put salt in it and a lot of stuff. First, turn it on so it starts going. Now we pour. It's a little loud, but it's not crazy loud. It is already kind of crystallizing. It's been two minutes though. I also made sure that my juice was like super cold. So the juice was in the refrigerator for about three hours. Same amount of time that the base was in the freezer. I think the juice being cold also helps the process go a little bit faster. Just a pro tip that I made up. My only complaint so far, just sitting here for five minutes and watching this stupid thing, it's taken a little longer than I thought. I mean, couldn't have made a big old batch of ice cream by now. I thought it was gonna go faster because it's a little bit. Okay, eight minutes, still going. Are you hearing it? Still doesn't look ready. Still looks very slushy. I'm getting buyer's remorse by the second now. It's been about 20 minutes now. I'm done. 20 minutes I could have gone to Brahms, DQ, Sonic for happy hour and got a half priced drink. I wanted this in five minutes, 10 minutes. But we're 20 minutes in and it does not look 100% yet. And I did all the things. Is the consistency of a slushy. Don't think it's worth it. It's gonna be delicious because my juice is delicious. I usually have excellent luck with these miniature products. This one's a no. And you guys know I went in with my hopes all in the skies. So I'm gonna give the personal size ice cream maker to Vivian Heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.